video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to install and start up a Myox Riozuni on-site chemical generator. I'm going to show you what you get with your order, how to install the Riozuni, and then we'll start it up. We're here at the installation site with your Riozuni shipment. What we're going to do now is unpack these boxes and show you what comes with your order. We're opening box one, which holds the Riozuni on-site chemical generator. The first thing you'll find in this box is the Riozuni manual. This has everything you need to know about installation, startup, operations, and troubleshooting. You'll also find your power cord. And finally, the Riozuni on-site generator. Now we're gonna open up the box that houses the integrated brine tank and other accessories that you need to start your system. This is the third box in your shipment, which contains the oxidant storage tank and your hydrogen venting kit. So we've unpacked all the boxes, and this is everything you get with your order. We have the Rio Zuni on-site generator, your operator's manual, all of the parts required for assembly and installation, your hydrogen venting kit, your integrated brine tank, and your 40 gallon oxidant storage tank. Once you've unpacked all of the items from their boxes, the first step is to install the OSG on top of the integrated brine tank. First, remove the four hex bolts from the enclosure and lift cover assembly. Position OSG on top of integrated brine tank and return the cover with O-ring properly in place. Next, mount the salt entry ring on top of the integrated brine tank. Make sure that the hole on the salt entry ring lines up with the hole on the integrated brine tank, and then bolt in place. Now that the OSG is in place, we're gonna connect the pressurized water source to the integrated brine tank. I'm gonna use my 3 8 tube provided in the standard parts kit. Simply push the tube into the fitting, assuring it is fully engaged. Leave the valves closed for now. Now it's time to connect the OSG to the brine tank. Match the corresponding inputs and outputs and secure using the clips in your parts kit. Load salt to the salt line inside the integrated brine tank. Always remember to use salt that meets or exceeds the MIOC specifications provided in your manual. The brine tank can hold up to six 50-pound bags of salt which provides enough brine for the Rio Zuni two pound system to run continuously for six to eight weeks. Now we're gonna connect the oxidant tube using the 5 8 inch tube provided to you in your standard parts kit. Connect one end of the tube to the oxidant outlet on the OSG. Connect the other end of the tube to the oxidant inlet on the oxidant storage tank. Assure there are no kinks or pinches in the tubing. Next, Install the drop tube, which will already be cut to length. Now we're going to install the level switch. This device measures the amount of oxidant inside the oxidant storage tank, telling the Rio Zuni on-site generator when to run and when to turn off. Connect the level switch to the back of the OSG by matching the wire colors. Next, you'll install your hydrogen venting. This is required for all Myox on-site generators. Hydrogen venting for the Rio Zuni is always site-specific, so please refer to the hydrogen safety white paper and follow the instructions for proper hydrogen venting. And now, attach the power cord. Now that everything is connected and plugged in, it is time to open the valves to begin filling the brine tank with water. Please wait 30 minutes to one hour to allow salt to fully saturate before starting the system. Now that the installation is complete, you can turn the unit on by flipping the power switch. Once the Rio Zuni is on, it will enter into a priming cycle which fills all the tubes with brine and water. Then the system will go into normal operating mode. The electrolytic cell in the OSG is producing oxidant on demand that is being fed to the oxidant storage tank. Oxidant is then dispensed to the application by a chemical metering pump. The Rio Zuni will continue to operate and create oxidant until the oxidant storage tank is full. This concludes our Rio Zuni installation and startup video.